What's up, Soups? This is your boy Infamous, and welcome back as we talk about more of Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy and dive into my thoughts about the game. And today we're talking about Chapter 2. Now again, I have to give a huge shout out to Adios Montreal and Square Enix for providing me an early review copy of the game, that way I can create content for you guys. So thank you guys so much for that and I really do appreciate it. But like I said, today we're diving into Chapter 2, which by far, because it's only Chapter 2, has been one of my funnest chapters to play in the game. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now be sure to take note that Chapter 2 is actually the smallest chapter in the game. So you won't be in this section for long, but it has tons of hidden secrets that I didn't even catch. Now after the events of Chapter 1, we got captured by none other than the famous space cops, the Nova Corps, which then led us to meet one of the youngest officers being Cadet Gold. And surprisingly we meet a new character called Grand Unifier Raker, but we don't know much about him besides him being a part of the church, whatever that means. I thought this was a cool way to introduce a brand new character, which I don't even know about, so this is awesome for someone like me who does have some comic book knowledge but doesn't know much about this character. Another thing I want to mention is this game actually did QTEs or quick time events extremely well in this game, making them consistent. Not all cutscenes are what they seem, so make sure you do keep your eyes on the screen or you'll actually mess up. But overall I loved it because it kept me on my toes and was actually really fun in certain situations. I'm so glad they added this feature throughout the game and I expect to see it more in the other chapters. Now this is where the game gets really good, as we're actually going alongside Cadet Gold, aka Nikki. She is by far one of the best characters alongside the Guardians that we've met so far. Now again, this is only chapter 2, so we'll meet even more characters, but she has just something about her that is captivating and overall sells the performance of being the daughter of the commander. As I went throughout the chapter, I found out she has her own issues, and it kind of gives her a sense of realism with her character, especially when you find out the differences that she has between her mom. So I would say expect a lot of dialogue in this chapter, but this is something that I loved. Not everything has to be super action or gameplay heavy for me to enjoy it. This was actually a nice part to explore more of Peter and utilize the decision system. Besides that, you actually have a really good relationship with the commander. The name escapes me as of right now, but let me tell you, things are pretty spicy. I love these segments because it was actually pretty interesting to kind of float around with the commander. <laughs> But the relationships with this game definitely makes it shine unlike some of the others that we've had in the past. That being said, I'm even more excited to dive into Chapter 3, which I heard has lots of action, great cutscenes, and overall some great dialogue between you and the other Guardians. So that being said, I'm curious what you guys think of the game so far. I'm personally having a great experience with the game, and I would recommend anyone who hasn't picked up the game so far to definitely grab it. It has a great story and the gameplay is actually fun. I know some people don't know about the Guardians of the Galaxy, but this is a great way to be introduced to the characters. That being said, I'm going to proceed on with Chapter 3, which I heard is robust. It's going to have some great character interactions. So I'll see you guys all in the next video. Don't forget to leave a like on this video, to the video out, and make sure you guys send off in the comment section down below, and let me know what you guys think so far. I'll see you soups in the next video, and you guys have a good one.